Texas has been blessed to be the leading oil and gas producing state in the country. What we're seeing right now is um, it's really game changing. If Texas was a standalone country, we'd be the ninth largest oil and gas producing nation in the world. Then you layer on top of that hydraulic fracturing and this new technology that's come to the table. I think we're in a good spot. As far as our country goes, as far as our energy outlook, just the transformational nature of what it's doing to the economies in places like South Texas. There's more people in town. The businesses that were here are experiencing additional uh, growth and uh, revenue coming in for them. With that comes the potential challenges, and that's what TCQ's here to do, is make sure that with all this new production, that air quality remains safe. In order to find that balance between a strong economy and protecting the environment, we have to have good data. Data drives our decisions here at TCEQ. We have about 70 real-time monitors across the state. Citizens can go on and get real-time data about what the air quality is doing. Minute by minute, hour by hour, you can see what those conditions are. And as drilling continues to grow and pick up, we can expand that air quality monitoring network. We have the people and the technology and the equipment to ensure every Texan that the air quality they're breathing is good. The TCEQ has the best air monitoring equipment that money can buy. We use, uh, utilize an optical gas imaging camera, and this camera literally lets us see the emissions coming from the facility. Other types of handheld equipment that gives us real-time data. We also have the ability to pull a sample with our SUMA canister, and that information can be taken back to our lab where it's analyzed and it'll tell us what was going on during that investigation. If we go to one facility and we find issues, we typically stay there and call the company representative and let them know that we need someone out there now and then we stay until issues are resolved. Our regulations and rules and the practices that are in place in the Barnett Shell as an example show that that's some of the cleanest air in the state. And I think other states have looked at us as sort of the way to uh, regulate the industry. We're applying what we learn in the Barnett Shell to the Eagle Ford and other shell plays across the state. We have a regulatory scheme that doesn't change and companies know what they're gonna get when they come here. At the same time, I think the public knows that they're gonna be protected. We're doing it in a clean, efficient way. We're learning every day. And frankly, Texas has some of the cleanest air in the United States. Other states still wanna be Texas.